Hi, Luke from Cork here. Welcome to your first five minutes on the Waystate SE. Let's open the case. So here's what you get. The Waystate SE keyboard, of course, most importantly. KA390 UK power supply. Quick start manual and a coupon for some cool download software. And you also get that luxury hard case that you saw in the unboxing there as part of the package. So let's get started. So we're all connected up, ready to go. We've got the power connected. We've got two jacks for audio. So that can be going to a mixer or a pair of studio monitors. You can also monitor through headphones if you want to. And I've also got an optional damper pedal connected. This is an optional accessory that you can buy. And that allows me to sustain notes on the Waystate SE. Okay, so we're ready to go. Let's power on. Hold down the power button momentarily. Okay, so it's booted up and it's gone onto the last sound that I was using, which is really cool. Um, if I want to change sound, I can just use my value knob there and it will take me through the sounds in alphabetical order. Or if I want to see them by category, I can use these buttons here. So for instance, if I wanted to go into the sequence category, for example, just press sequence and then you can see here, you've got all the sequence based sounds and obviously there's quite a lot of those. So I'm gonna to go to the upside down, press enter, and there's my pattern. Now each sound is made up of up to four layers and they're called A, B, C and D and they're reflected here on the panel and you can see that they've got lights. So on this particular sound we've got sounds A, B and C active and D isn't active. So we're hearing A is one of the wave sequences, B is another one and then C is that nice pad sound. If we want to turn them on and off, we can just double tap them. So that's the pad disappeared. And then bring it back. If you want to then turn on one that's not active, it's very easy as well. So you can just turn it on. That will give you the initialized um, program sound. And if then you press shift and arrow, it'll give you a snapshot of the, the performance. All layers, A, B, C and D. And then we can just page down onto layer D. Select it from a list. So these are all programs now, individual sounds. And again, you can do it by category. So if I wanted to add some drums, for instance, I can go into percussion category and then start listening to some of these other sounds. I can also adjust the level here as well to get the mix just right. So each layer can be made up either a waste sequence or a single multi-sample. And the way that you see that is you just press this button here and you'll see they're on layer A. I'm on wave sequence, but I can change that to a single multi-sample. So I can go between the two. And if I want to see then what's going on in my wave sequence itself for each individual lane, you can use these buttons here. So all I have to do is decide which layer I'm working with. So in this case, I've got this nice sound here. I'm going to go with layer A. I'm going to have a look at the pitch lane. And as soon as I press this and you make sure you've got wave sequence steps pressed, you'll see it reflected here. And then you can select any of these steps and then change the parameters on the screen with dial. So we've got this neat feature in the Wavestate SE called set lists. So that allows you to save your favorite settings and recall them from these buttons here. We've also got smooth sound transitions as well, which means all the sounds seamlessly blend into each other even when you change sound. So to get into set list mode, you just need to press set list and then each of these becomes a different sound as you can see here. And you can seamlessly go between your different sounds and you have four banks of these as well a b c and d to change bank just hold down shift select the bank you want and then you're into that bank straight away if you want to save into these set list slots all you have to do is hold down right and then select the slot you want right again and then enter and now it's in slot 16 in bank b if you do want to start from scratch and start creating your own programs and wave sequences there's a really easy way to do that there's an initialized performance and it's the very first performance in the list. So you can just select that and then it just gives you an initialized wave sequence and you can start building your layers from there. Once you're ready to save, just press right and it'll say, what do you want to save? Performance, you can go down to name, press enter. 
you can key in a name if you want to and then you go shift right and then enter and it will save so you've got a whole host of different controllers here to manipulate your sounds on the WaveState SE. You've got your vector joystick, which can be a mixer for your four different layers. You've also got your mod wheel, which can be assigned to different effects. Of course, you've got your pitch bend wheel as well. And you've got eight mod knobs as well, which can be completely assigned per layer or globally to manipulate your sound. And of course, you've got aftertouch on the keyboard as well so you can apply more pressure to the sound to perform filters like that or a whole host of other effects. So connections wise, earlier we saw the basic connections for audio and the damper pedal, but we've also got MIDI and USB built in as well. So MIDI for connecting an external keyboard to control it from there. But you've also got USB, so you can connect to a PC or a Mac, and there's some great editor and librarian software available for free from our website. And then what it does is it basically reflects everything I'm doing in the hardware on the screen there. You can listen to your wave sequences and watch them go by. It's also a librarian as well, so we can just click librarian and then you can see a list of all your sounds. Great to manage them that way. And you've got a great randomized feature as well. So you've got a dice there, so you can press that either on the hardware or in the software to randomize your sounds. You can also download Sample Builder for free as well from our website, and that allows you to import your own samples and to apply those to your wave sequences. So there you go. That was your first five minutes on the WaveState SE.